This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Today is Monday, October 26th, 2020. First of all, many uh, heartfelt thanks to Reverend Fred Wooden uh, for his sermon on Sunday. One of the things that Fred talked about was a hypothesis that much of the rage and anger in our culture can be understood, at least in part, as unprocessed grief. That, for instance, grief after September 11th became a cycle of violence and war without ever really engaging in grief and loss on their own terms. So that's where we're going to pick up this week. Because every year, on the last Sunday of October, or the first Sunday of November, we mark the old liturgical holiday of All Souls Day. And in part, that's a nod to our history. One of the names of this congregation over our long history was the All Souls Church of Lincoln. And once a year, we mark the Sunday closest to this holiday as a day to remember all those who we loved who are no longer with us in this world. And we'll talk about that more on Sunday. And as the week goes on, we'll talk about what it means to, to, to mark All Souls Day in the midst of a pandemic. But for now, I have a specific ask. Most years for this service, we invite members of the congregation to participate, to bring the names of those that you've lost in the last year. This year will be on YouTube, so the format has to be a little bit different. So if you are remembering specific folks on All Souls Day, or if you have grief that you are processing this year, send me the names of those you wish to remember, and if you want, a picture. We'll record the service on Thursday morning, so any names I have by the end of the day on Wednesday will go into the service. This is a year of many, many losses. But we know, because we are a people of faith, that the dead do not disappear. They aren't gone. What is remembered lives through the stories that we tell and the lives that we lead. So send in names, and I'll see you tomorrow.